I'm very excited to announce the integration of the ProDemand Mitchell Labor Guide. Um, it could be known as ShopKey On Demand 5. Uh, ProDemand is the latest version that they're calling it. They've made several changes, and our development team has completed that integration uh, based on your request. So what I'm really excited about with this is that we've taken a product that you all know and you use and you've become accustomed to, and we've integrated into your gem card just to give you more resources to help you be profitable. So we currently are able to integrate with all data, real-time labor guide, pro-demand, identifix, and um, a few others, as well as your local parts suppliers for labor times. But what I really like the development team did with the current integration that they did is I'm just going to take an existing customer myself. I put in my license plate. It's going to automatically identify the vehicle, identify the customer, give me the option that if there's an estimate that's already pending, I could review it before I create a new one. But in this case, I'm going to say no. With the new integration, what I'm really excited about is that when I right-click on my parts vendor, I'm able to select the vendor. We've launched Mitchell Pro Demand inside of our browser. You click on the vendor plate here. Go ahead and click once. We automatically load. You don't even have to right-click and paste. It's saved. Hit Enter. We decode the VIN based on the tool that they offer. We select the vehicle. You're, able, you're ready to go and start looking up, make quotes for the vehicle. What I'm happy about and what I think was just took a lot of consideration is the fact that the development team worked really hard on making it so that a brake caliper for this vehicle, the pins are probably going to be a mess. They're going to be overextended. The vehicle's got 85,000 miles on it. It's not a brand new vehicle anymore. It's not going to come apart and go together like it used to. So when you use the labor guides and you're going through them, and let's say we click on parts and labor here and we want to take a look at it, in the current application, you click on this a B level tech in 1.6 hours. I'm not able to I'm not able to get that apart in 1.6 hours. It's going to come apart in pieces, and I'm going to be lucky if I can get it back together in the same day because of all the problems that are there. So what I'm excited about is that the development team gave you the option to say, okay, we're going to do one side or both sides. You're more familiar with this application than I am, but I just want to show you what I'm really happy about. I can now go and add other things that I need to do to this vehicle, and then I want to view the quote. When I'm reviewing the quote, again, these are predetermined hours when the vehicle was brand new, had never been hit, it wasn't rusty. So here's what we did to help you to be profitable. When we select and we want to bring that back and that description of what's being done, we can select a door rate, effective billing rate, that's going to be relevant to the age and consideration of the vehicle that we're working on. Maybe I have a diagnostic rate because I don't have parts that go along for every hour that I spend. So therefore, I have to have a higher diagnostic rate than I do for my hourly rate. In this example, I'm just going to use my standard door rate, and when I enter, it's going to allow me, it's going to allow me to select the items that I want. So for here, if I say I'm interested in this job and I want to select it, it's going to calculate based on the rate that I've selected from my dropdown. And if I'm not happy with the time, I can say, you know what? There's no way. This is a Vermont car. It's not coming apart in one piece. I can change the labor time in order for it to accurately reflect the age, the care, and the condition of the vehicle. So when I, change, when I save the time and I bring it back into my estimate, I'm basically saying to the gem car that, look, I've made modifications that I want to make. Please transfer them and have them come back over to the other side. When I minimize it, I go back. I have all the information that I need. I'm sorry, I clicked twice. So this is real world. You get to see the, what it really looks like. But here I have my labor times. They're loaded. All the notes that came over that was the information that was there is, is included. But as I said, I'm able to adjust the quantity. I'm able to adjust the value of it before I transfer it back. To me, I just think the development team has really given you all the tools to help you be successful. If you need help, the support team can add this uh, link to yours if it's a subscription that you currently are enrolled in. We could activate it onto your gem car, show you how to use it, make sure that the tools are, are set up for you.